Hey everyone, Black Country Wargaming here and today we're going to be showcasing my fully complete, fully painted and based German army. So here yeah, guys, here we are, this is the big one, this is the one I've been working for five months, I believe it's nearly five months actually, I've been actually working on this. So of course this is for the 1 in 6 gaming group, a uh, gaming board that we have got running on December 2nd, which is my birthday, at the War Games, Club, War Games show in Hales Owen. And... I'm doing all these Germans of course, so I've got all these Germans fully done. I'm also going to be doing some Americans, uh, I've still got a few Americans to paint up, tank wires and then I've got to base every single miniature exactly like these are done. Yeah, is uh, I've got 12 weeks to do it as well, so the countdown is on basically and I need to get them done, I need to quickly get through them and make them look as good as these guys right here because I need two forces to face off one another. Do need to rely on other people for terrain but uh, because I've basically run out of time to do it but hopefully this this should be amazing when it's all done and on the tabletop in December. So yeah how am I going to film this? How am I going to show this this big massive epic army? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in closer to the sections of the miniatures and then I'm going to showcase them off and talk about them a lot more. Yeah, it's it's great, you know, it's a, it's a great experience when you can get everything on the tabletop like this. It's every hobby maker's dream to get a project fully finished. And this is just one part of it as well. Um, I have a lot more <laughs> for the full, full on German army. I'm, I'm dedicating myself to finishing completely the full German army that I actually want. I'm also dedicating myself to finishing the full American army that I want. And then when I've eventually got those done, I'll go on to probably another army, maybe the British after that or the Japanese, I'm not sure yet. But I'm not touching anything bolt action until I actually get all these fully complete. I really do need to get everything done basically. I want a massive, massive German force. I mean this is 4,000 odd points, this right here. Um, yeah, mainly because of the tanks. I mean the tanks at the back, that's a King Tiger or Royal Tiger, wherever you're from. And you know, I've got two Tiger 1s, I've got two Panzer 4s. That's a lot of points right there. And I want to add a hell of a lot more because as you can see, basically the weapons teams at the back, I've got an MMG team, only one, and I've also got a Nurburgwerfer. I haven't got no anti-tank weapons or anything like that, so I'm going to add to that. I've got no mortars, no nothing. So everything needs to be added to. <laughs> but this is near enough everything that's going to be used in... Uh, well, it's everything is here that's going to be used in December. Basically, I'm trimming stuff out of this so not everything here will be used um but yeah let's let's get close shall we and have a look uh, up close at the models so up first we have the hq units and as you can see right in front of you from left to right so here to here we have my general so i can't remember which general that is it's the one with the battle of the bulge book um, I can't remember his name, but a very famous general. And so I've got that model there to represent my general. I have this model right here. Just turn him. Should be able to see it easy enough. He is my major slash captain. Um, I got that one off eBay, I believe. Um, I don't know where it's actually from. Uh, I just typed in uh, German major on ebay and it was one of the first models that come up and it's a really nice model i actually really really like it then we go on to my lieutenants so we have my first lieutenant this is the ss guy from the ss um, command kit we have lieutenant meyer so lieutenant meyer is from first corps it's from the steiner set and a really nice model there and he's my second lieutenant then we have the spare guy from the Lieutenant uh, Waffen SS kit as well there. We have a guy that I just made up from a kit and he is basically 
a extra man so everyone in bot action takes one extra man with your lieutenant and he is the extra man basically he can also operate as an extra man then we have my medic and we have my spotter so he also works as artillery or air observer so yeah he's kind of got a a big role basically because you only ever use one model at the time anyway i do have the waffen ss observer team still in their packaging and i will do them at some point but for the moment that is all i have and that is all my hq units and let's get the next lot up front so i put these back in their packaging <laughs> Next up we have my two Falchamega teams and these are both 10 men, two SMGs and one Panzerfaust each. So we've got the Panzerfaust here and we've got the two SMG, two LMGs there, two LMGs here. Um, I have given the assault rifles to the sergeants but in all honesty it's just to say that they are sergeants. They are basically armed with rifles for game purposes. I did the custom camo on them, you can see that tutorial on my channel already, should be a link up the top there. And yeah, it, these were really, really nice, I, I think, I, I, I really do like the camo schemes on them, I think they ended up coming out looking really well. They aren't the only Falchamagas that I've got in the team, um, painted up, I do have a six man SNG squad that I'm going to showcase in a second. And yeah, they, I really like them. I, I do like the Falchamega. I like the Falchamega rules. I like the fact that they can have two LMGs. It's a really nice defensive block, basically. It is your Yapstam of the <laughs> of the Germans or your Beckenbauer, uh, to give a German analogy there. So without further ado, here we go, uh, looking at the uh, Falchamagas with SMGs. As of course you can see Michael Caine here from the Eagle has landed. And that's what these are basically. i done five of them with the SMGs from the British um, airborne kit. And so they have the Sten guns. And it's a nice little, nice little squad, you know, themed just as the uh, Eagle has landed. Was going to originally do the British uh, paratroopers because that's how they dropped in. But they kept their German uniforms underneath. And so I've basically made them look like they have their German uniforms underneath. Uh, that's the thought process behind it. Also, if I intend to get some... British in the future and get some British airborne and that what then I am not going to be in trouble knowing where everything is basically and uh, especially if you come across a, a British player on the tabletop who has airborne and it's like okay we've got the same camo which models are which so uh, yeah that's why I went for the for the uh, Falsh Omega camo on them but the theming is there of course with the models Right here we have probably the biggest part and the most recent section I've actually painted. Here are the Volks Grenadiers. So as you can see, they are the Winter Germans. They're the Winter German Sprue. And I've used all 30 of them. So we have five with assault rifles. We have some Panzerfausts in there. Um, I know a lot of people like to use Panzerfaust with them. No LMG because I don't see the point in giving these LMGs. Not with assault rifles, it just doesn't go right. So yeah, all all five assault rifles, the rest of the five are rifles. They are about 70 points, I think, base. I, I'm not sure on that actually. Um, I need to check. They are quite cheap and if you can get lucky on them, and roll regular or even veteran when you lose a man you know with the special green rule that they have they can become nasty especially with um five assault rifles they could become really nasty at veteran level and especially if you've got a couple of um panzerfaust in there as well they could be very very deadly and hard to kill uh, all of a sudden you've got a green unit that you not really bothered about because they they can't exactly do much damage being inexperienced and then all of a sudden they get a veteran while they're, they're 
currently down your left or right flank and doing a lot of damage. I really like the Volks rules, I've never used them, but um, as I say, I'm going to use all three of these squads and see how they do, see if they become veteran or just become uh, just just stay inexperienced. Who knows? Eh? That, that can only happen on the battlefield, but uh, I think they've painted up quite nice. I actually really do like this Winter Grenadier kit. I, I think it's one of the better kits that Warlord have got, especially because it's one of their newest ones, and Warlord are really up in their game with their kits. I haven't seen the American one yet, or the British and German DAC one, but I suspect that he is of the same quality of these and it probably is going to be really really good and um, that will definitely be my British I will do an 8th army British basically because they are the new kit on the block and I haven't got a desert force anyway but uh, yeah these are the Vox Grenadiers 5 assault rifles 5 rifles a few Panzerfaust scattered in between them so next up we move on to my Waffen SS squads and by far my most favoured of the entire army. Not because of Waffen SS and I'm a, <laughs> an evil person but basically I love the camouflage. I absolutely adore the camouflage on these models and I have a tutorial on how I do it in the top right hand corner now. But yeah I absolutely adore it. These painted up so well and they just look different compared to the rest of the German army. Um, I only went for army painter paints but there's something about the spring or oak leaf pattern whatever it is I don't know what it is but there's something about that that just it's just amazing I, I really think it looks so good on the on the field and of course they have two MMG team LMG teams uh, one Panzerfaust, but I doubt I'll use the Panzerfaust in a game because these basically are backfield objective holders and lane fire from a distance basically. Um, yeah, <laughs> I love them. Uh, and they're absolutely great, great models to paint up. There's another one of Warlord's good sets that I've uh, worked with lately. And so let's go into the rest of my Waffen SS now. So next up we have the rest of my Waffen SS and the Waffen SS in all honesty can take basically anything <laughs> they want to take and so when you get given the kit it's hard to say what you actually want from them and you have to decide quickly what job field role they're going to do. So I got my 10 man squad of course I just showed. Then I went okay let's uh, get a few with assault rifles and let's get a few with smgs so i've gone for the six man hanshaw squad right in front here and they they are all in their hanshaw helmets their fezzes and they all have assault rifles then i went for at the back the Waffen SS with SMGs and this guy right here he's got uh, the bandage helmet uh, head rather the bandaged head and I really like that one with the helmet on top I think that's uh, so nice it's a really nice head sculpt not too many heads in the Waffen SS set you have to alternate between the uh, the Waffen SS sprue and also the rest of your German sprues basically and then on the side here we have six Waffen SS with assault rifles, uh, one Panzerfaust, there's a Panzerfaust at the back in the other unit, I haven't given the Hanshaw a Panzerfaust. But yeah, I have six Waffen SS with assault rifles, one Panzerfaust and all flat caps. So that just basically distinguishes them from the rest of the squad to say that they are the ones with the assault rifles there. Next up we have the engineers, so these are the veteran engineers or assault engineers, whatever you want to call them. And for these I have basically the rest of the Steiner set from First Corps and I have to say here's Steiner of course. And yeah they are really nice, I really am impressed with the First Corps models. The metal of course but stunning, stunning work, um, great 
great to paint up and they look so nice when they're done and fully based. Then all I added was basically the flamer set from the oh the pioneers I believe it's the pioneers yeah there, there they are yeah <laughs> I really like that flamer because it's got the bloke with the goggles and the gas mask it does look really really nice and yeah that's the engineers I don't think they're going to be used in the battle I don't think I'm actually going to take them in the battle which is going to be a shame because I really do like that Steiner set and would love to get Steiner on the table but unfortunately it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to use them anyway let's uh, move on to the backbone of the army now let's move on to the hair grenadiers so here are the contents basically of a hair grenadier box and um, not much to say really so eight man crew with one LMG loader and one Panzerfaust in each but I don't know if I'll include the Panzerfaust actually I'm starting to think about uh, German squads and do they actually need Panzerfaust especially if they've got armour accomplishments and also if they have Panzerfaust in other squads it depends what you want them to do I know that they are basically a sit back unit these because they will sit back and just defend that's what they're meant to do uh, shoot from distance basically I found the Germans to be a very defensive army anyway but uh, yeah these are the backbone just eight guys with an LMG I really like that loadout for me no extra points pumped into them just straight up I think that's about a hundred points uh, regular um, I know yeah you probably will take them at veteran if you do take them at veteran a lot of people seem to go down to seven man squads yeah you're just number crunching at that point really <laughs> to see uh, how you can maximize your squad but i've included the camo on the ponchos so all the ponchos basically have camo i've tried not to get as many that many ponchos in in all honesty, I tried to stick away from those because I wanted them to just have the feel of a regular German force. And I've only got the three for now. I will, of course, be adding to those at some point. I, I want six at least. So that's like two boxes of uh, German grenadiers. I do have a lot left over anyway. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, that's the backbone of the force right there. So it's on to the teams now because we're basically done with all the infantry there and this is the last of it before we go on to the uh, juicy bits which is the vehicles but we have a sniper team and so we have this guy here this is the sniper and we have a spotter who can also double up for a spotter for another unit if I don't use the sniper now I tend not to use the sniper that often I often find snipers either do good or just do nothing the entirety of the game. We have my MMG team, which, in all honesty, who really takes an MMG? I have to say it, but uh, no one takes one. But anyway, I like that pose and I thought it was nice um, getting it in that position. It's all plastic, of course. Uh, various kits all mashed together just to get it into that position. Very nice kit bash. If I do say so myself, I enjoy kit bashing anyway. And then we have the Noble Warfare, which is to be believed probably the hardest kit ever in the universe to build. <laughs> it's just nasty. It's it's not very nice at all. Um, yeah, I know I have one now for Werbel in Nerfles, but uh, it wasn't very nice and I until there's a plastic one I really wouldn't recommend anyone get one I know they're good on the battlefield in second edition because of what they can do uh, the crew went together nice I can't moan about the crew the crew are actually really good it's just that kit man there's just something about it it just didn't go nice whatsoever but uh, it's done anyway what's done is done and painted and hopefully it won't break <laughs> So with that, let's get onto the vehicles, which I know a lot of people are probably here for anyway. So yeah, let's start with the lesser of the vehicles and work our way up to the big cats. As you can see right in front of you, these are my Hannah Mags or half tracks, whatever you want to call them. 
uh, I have two just playing and then I have the one which with the pack 40 I believe it is and that is from Band of Brothers yeah that is actually one of the first vehicles I ever painted uh, so you can tell the differences there um, some would say that one was the better of the two but <laughs> uh, regardless I did go heavy on the washes with this one in all honesty a, a bit too much um, I, I tried to make it as mucky and grimy as possible and there's loads of little hidden touches which probably people wouldn't even recognize in all honesty like footprints and stuff like that <laughs> stupid I know very stupid but uh, I did it and I shouldn't have but there you go anyway there are the Hannah mags let's go into the big cats so here they are in all their glory this is the of course the King Tiger presenting itself right up front we have two Tiger 1's one is the 007 the other is the 131 and we have the Panzer 4 with the number 4 on it because I was trying to be funny and doubling it the Panzer 4 with the 8 on there you can see all of these tanks in a better video uh, in the top right I'll link it to that one this is just a general overview video of the entire army and I just wanted to showcase them all together but you can see the tanks, better pictures and everything in that video right there. So yeah, time to end the video. So everyone, I hope you've enjoyed that video. I hope I haven't dragged on too long and it's been too much for you. Well, I did want to do an entire showcase video and I hope you've enjoyed it. I uh, hope you'll be kind enough to give me a like on the video for looking through all my hard work and I hope you'll leave a comment below and I still have the Americans left to do so if you want to subscribe and see more of my Americans being done in exactly the same way please do I've got 12 weeks left to actually get it done so with that guys I'm gonna leave it at that and I shall see you in the next video